Ever had company and dreaded them opening that one closet or drawer where you stashed all the clutter? Welcome to my personal nightmare, bearing all my kitchen chaos on television. But only because organizer Chris Stone of Neatly Designed is here to save the day and teach us a thing or two about getting organized. In a previous segment, Chris performed a miracle on my pantry. Like items together, labels, everything in plain view, a sight to behold. Now we're tackling some other tough places. Like these cabinets where we keep pots, pans, and lots and lots of lids. I don't think this is gonna open. Um, and I see this a lot where people imagine this to be a shelf, but it's not. It's called a pull-out shelf because it's supposed to pull out. So we wanna clean this out so that these actually function with the purpose that they're made to, which is to pull out and not pull everything out with it when it comes. If there isn't a lid to, ma to match the pan, then we're either gonna have to get rid of the pan or the lid. You wanna keep like items together, so you wanna keep the lids with the pan, so when you pull it out, you're gonna see exactly what you have and what you own. Okay, Bre so instead of what I've seen other people do, which is all the lids are together, that's not the Chris Stone way. Uh, that's not the way I like to do it, unless you have something to put the lids in. Um, and we don't, and I really think when your life kind of dictates how you live, and me being an empty nester myself, it's just easier to keep every lid with the pots, and when I pull the pot out, it's right there. You don't need 20 pots and pans when it's just the two of you at home. These are typical items that I would suggest to let go. First of all, you only have three left, and they're all chipped. And if you have chipped and mismatched items or you only have two or three of a set left, it's time to let it go. You can go to Target, you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond and get a half a dozen white plates, bowls, salad plates, and when you open your cabinets, you are going to think of me because it's brand new, simple white dinnerware that just looks clean, neat, and simple. So now we're finally putting the spices away. We've already purged, and we found one, two, three, four of the same item, which is why I always tell people that buying in multiples when you don't have room to store it or you can't see where you're storing it costs money, doesn't save money. So make lists and when you're out of one, write it down so that you know to get another, but having four of the same thing, when, especially when you're an empty nester, takes up a lot of space. Chris always reminds you to measure before purchasing organizing tools, but this area can be tricky. So when you're measuring under a sink, make sure you take into consideration the pipes because there's always one side of the sink that has the pipes. So you wanna measure from this side over and then the little bit of space you have here. Generally on this side, it's just gonna be a container you're able to pull out, but at least you'll be able to corral everything and keep it organized. The most important thing under a sink, whether it's in a bathroom, a kitchen, a laundry room is to use the vertical space under the sink. These are from the container store. They are individual. You can stack them as high. You can double stack. Um, they're just great because you can put different items and we're going to label the front. And now you've used all this space, whereas before everything was just thrown in. I think we should put both of these in one and just okay. use them up. Yeah. and then leave those out, and there you go. Sensing a trend from Chris? Clear containers, lots of purging and combining, and labels. Ready to take control of your kitchen? Visit Chris Stone online at neatlydesigned.com.